Hello Virtual Academy classes and welcome back to another week of online art and happy St. Patrick's Day. So today is St. Patrick's Day so I thought it might be fun if we did a kind of St. Patrick's Day themed art lesson. So I'm going to show you what it looks like here. This is what the paper looks like closed. It is a rainbow and some grass and a sky but it's also one of these folding surprise papers that you've probably seen before so you can grab the bottom flap and pull it open and that is my pot of gold. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a folding surprise paper where when it's closed, it's just a rainbow on the grass, but then when you open it, we're going to show up what our pot of gold would look like. So it's the legend of the leprechaun and the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. There's that legend that if you find the end of the rainbow, you can find the pot of gold. So I thought that instead of putting gold in the pot, we would put something that we value a lot or something that we would wish for because you're supposed to be like a lucky leprechaun or a lucky rainbow. So we're gonna put, if we were lucky, what would we end up with? So on mine, you can see there's a puppy, there's an O for my last name because more time with family would be something I wish for. There's time for art as well. And then there's sunshine because I am ready for spring and summer. So you're gonna think about the things that you would wish for if you could find your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow and what would actually be in your pot. So again, we're making a folding surprise paper. Looks like this when it's closed this when it's open or something like this and I'm going to show you how to make this from start to finish. So go ahead and keep watching to see how to make this. For our folding St. Patrick's Day surprise we're going to start with a piece of white paper and set it in front of you vertically which means the tall way. Once we have it set in front of us vertically we are going to fold it in half. So I'm going to fold it from bottom to top. Kind of like if you're making a card, but we're setting it up a little differently. So I'm gonna fold it corner to corner, crease, crease. So now my paper is folded in half. So to make the surprise part, I am going to take the top flap, just the top flap, not both flaps, just the top flap, I can't grab it, there we go. Grab the top flap and you're gonna roll it down and you're gonna fold just the top flap in half one more time. So again, I'm just taking the top one, not both, just the top one, and roll it back, and then this one gets folded in half, just like this. So now, I'm ready for my surprise. So I can go like this, and uh, reveal more of my picture. So I'm gonna go like that, reveal more of my picture. So what I wanna do is I wanna make it look like there is a rainbow in the sky, and while it's closed, this is just the ground and grass. So I am going to start by doing my rainbow with a marker. I would suggest that you do this with a pencil so that you can erase it if you need to, but I want you to be able to see it, so I'm gonna use a marker. So I'm gonna start, I'll have my rainbow touching down right in the middle. So I'm gonna do the first stripe. This will be red, orange, yellow, green, blue. They're getting a little big, aren't they? Purple. There's my very large rainbow. And then I'm gonna have the top of my grass be right here on this line. Sometimes if you want to make sure you know exactly where that is, you can take your pencil, or I'll take my marker in this case, and I'm gonna run a line right along this fold. It's a little hard to draw a line directly on a fold. Eventually, I will be coloring in my grass, but for now, to remind us that it's grass, I'm just gonna take a green crayon and do some little grass clumps like this. So just to remind myself that this is supposed to be grass. Otherwise I might forget and put something on it that I didn't mean to. So we have grass, 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 grass. You could put flowers, butterflies, anything you want. So here's my rainbow. Here's my grass. This is gonna be sky. So we're gonna make that our blue sky. And again, this will make more sense once we unfold it because you'll see that it might be a little bit tricky to tell what's what. So keep your paper closed while you're doing this initial setup where you're making your rainbow and your grass. Also your sky. So there's the blue of the sky. I'll color my rainbow later, but for now I just want to make sure that I know exactly which parts are which. So there we go. All right, so while it's closed, we have rainbow, sky, grass. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open our picture. So we have all this empty space to work in to make our surprise. So what I wanna do is I wanna draw and make it look like there are things that I wish for up here. And I'm gonna put a little pot down here, almost like a pot of gold, except my gold is gonna be just other things that I wish for. 
So now I need to make my pot. What I'm going to do for this is I'm going to do the letter C and a backwards letter C. And I'm trying to center this kind of underneath the rainbow. Letter C letter, backwards C, do a line across. And now I'm just going to do like that. So remember, this is all going to be green. So it's going to look like it's sitting on the grass. So here's my pot. And if I close this, it should still be all the way hidden. So I'm going to open it back up. And now I have to put the things that I wish for, that I feel like if I were lucky, these are the things that I would get. So that's what I'm going to put up here. One thing I would like is, um, let's see, I really like doing art. So I'm going to put a paint palette. And... I always want more time to do art. So I'm gonna do a paint palette and a clock right next to each other like this. Let's do a clock like that. So time for art. Something else that I really want, but I'm not sure I should get, is a puppy. I really want a puppy, but they're a lot of work. So I'm gonna keep this on the wish list for now. I already have the kind of puppy picked out that I would like. It's very cute, but again, they're a lot of work. Um, should I have him sitting on the pot? Is that what we should do? I drew his legs a little short if he's sitting on the pot. Well, that's all right. He'll just have short little legs. Maybe he's jumping out of the pot. Something else that I could wish for could be more time with family. So maybe um, what I'll do is my last name starts with O. And so most of my family members' names start with O. So I can do just a nice cursive O right here for more time with family. And then, ooh, something, the last thing I want is I want sunshine. I want it to be officially spring. We got teased there with some really nice days, but I want it to be officially springtime. So I'm gonna put a, a sun right there. Most of my things ended up kind of circular, didn't they? So there are the things that I wish for, that if I had a pot of gold, these are the things I would find inside. So now what I have to do is make the picture work, mesh kind of from here to here, because now when it's open, this should all be one big picture. So I'm gonna color my sky all the way down to here and here, but I need to show that these are coming out of my pot of gold. So maybe what I'll do is I'll put like a cloud around them. You know when you have like a cartoon and somebody's thinking something and it's in a cloud? Maybe that's what this will be, like a thought cloud. There we go. So now here's my pot. Here's my gold, and then here's my rainbow. Let's bring these rainbow lines all the way down to the cloud. There we go. Okay, so now when I color, this time I'm gonna bring my sky all the way down to the ground. Don't go in your ground, that's why I drew this black line here so that we can remember that that's where the ground is. So I'm just drawing, um, I'm just coloring a little bit more of my sky to show you exactly how this should look when it's open and exactly how this should look when it's closed. I just noticed that I'm still wearing my coat. It's a little cold in my art closet here. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this to show you what it looks like when it's closed. All of my secrets are hidden, and then all of my secrets are revealed. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish coloring this, and I will show you when I am all the way finished.